All right, so we're gonna start drawing a horse. A circle for the head, for the most part. A circle for the body. About the same size circle for the back of the body as well. Uh, we want to start connecting with lines. When you look at lines, you want to start to think, well, what kind of line am I drawing? Is it a uh, is it a straight line? Is it a curved line? Got to think of all of those things when you're drawing art. So uh, the back of the horse's neck is basically a curved line. So let's draw a sort of a curve here. Kind of a curved line and go all the way down. Okay, and we'll do the same thing up in the front. So basically a curved line and this shape kind of repeats the, the same shape of the back of the neck. It kind of slightly curves, a slight curve. It looks kind of funny. And then we want to make the back, there's a curve there. Actually, I can round it, make that circle a bit bigger. And then here, you want to kind of uh, repeat again. This line can be repeated down here and connect it from circle to circle, like so. And then for the legs, I like to start and draw basically stick legs. So you draw a stick leg out, and then you make a little circle for the joint where the leg bends, and then it comes down, and there's a, another joint here, and then it comes out, like so. And then for the side leg, you want to do the same thing. You'll see the side of the leg. The horse is sort of like jumping, prancing in the air. So you want to draw the same shape here. Okay. And kind of take note where those joints will be. And back here, I'm going to do the same thing with the back leg. And I might actually move my drawing a little bit so you can see more. And I'll do a joint here. And then the leg bends. And another joint. And then the foot. And then the back leg on the other side repeats pretty much in the same way. I actually had a project uh, in the past year where I was teaching students how to draw a simple horse, uh, making horse puppets based on the run of Paul Revere, his ride, where he was saying the British are coming. <laughs> or that's uh, what they say, the famous story about the British are coming, the British are coming. All right, so let's draw the tail. And the tail can just be a line that curves. And that's probably the most curvy part. It's almost like an S shape for the tail. Maybe made it a little bit long, but that's okay. All right, let's go back to the head. And now we want to give it a mouth. And the mouth kind of points down. And it's basically kind of a U shape. And actually, I think I might make here a little bit thicker here. You can always add things with the drawing to working on. All right, and now I think we'll start to add more to the legs. We just want to make them three-dimensional, so we'll add some sides to those thick, thicker legs that we have. Okay, connecting everything together now. So it looks a little bit, I guess you could say a little meaty. <laughs> looks like an actual horse instead of a, a stick figure horse. Again, the hoof. It's almost like a triangle. Okay, and the same thing with the other leg. We just want to give it what's called some dimension. We want it to look three-dimensional. We don't want it to look like a stick figure. We want it to look like it's actually a real horse as much as we can. Okay, and then again, the hoofs here. So the horse's feet. Okay, and then the back legs, we're going to do the same thing over here. And there's this line back here on the horse's back leg kind of curves just slightly. It's a slight curve there. They have really big back legs here, thighs. Okay, and then go up a bit. Come down. All right, and then we want to give the hoof here a good footing on the ground. Okay, it's pretty much like that, okay? And let's do the same thing with the other leg. I'm going to thicken that out a bit. Give it a curve here, sort of. Make that too, too thick. The front leg should be always a little bit thicker or larger than the back leg. And here, make this a little thinner. And then a hoof as well, back over here. All right, so let's draw the tail. It right. <laughs> goes up, you get it's kind of narrow, come back down. And again, I was doing some zigzags here for the end of the tail, like so. All right, and let's see here. It's not so bad. Let's slide it over. We'll go back to the ears here, head and ear. And their eyes are a little bit sideways. Actually, I want to add like a sort of jawline there, too. And then you have the eye. Sort of like this shape for the eye. It's almost like you could say like a diamond shape or a triangle. And then you want to get the nose in there. The really long, big nostrils so that they can breathe and they can, while they're running and while they're walking and prancing around and working on farms. Okay, and then there's a little slight line, a slight bend comes down right about there and it goes back up. Almost similar to like a dog, a large dog. Okay, and now we need the mane. I guess the horses have like hair on their, on their head, so we'll give it some hair. It's a bit spiky. It's less on top and it's more as it goes down the neck. Okay, sort of like that. Okay, I might even increase this more. All right, 
sort of like that's what we're looking for when we're kind of drawing a horse. Let me see if I can actually start to ink this a little bit today. I'll just marker, but I really like the brush side of the marker. And I'm just going to kind of repeat sort of the lines that I've created already with this horse. I just think it's really smooth. It's like painting when you like using them. So I like using these brushes a lot. Okay, and then to go there. Not bad. And I want the legs to be really big. I'm gonna lighten up just slightly. Get the curve in here. Okay. And the buff. Just trying a really simple horse there. And let's do around this part there. And then I have the other leg in here. Go down. And again, we'll add the hook. Go there, go here. Get them up more. All right, let's go back to the front. And now we want to so add the front legs in. Okay, like so. I'm doing all this sort of almost in an ink brush style here. It's almost like using like a ink, uh, like a brush with ink when you use this marker. I'll show you the other side as well in just a minute. Okay, and the tail, let's do that. I'll use this sort of color, sort of a brownish color. Some bronze. And probably over here, a little bit of shadow. And that would be darkened too, just based on the light. Okay, a really simple and quick version of a horse right there. Maybe we'll do another one here. Maybe we should do maybe a horse. Uh, we'll do a head. Let's start in. Let the dark a bit there. I'm just getting a kind of circle for the head. And this time I'll do a, a small circle since it's a bit larger. I can do a circle for the front as well. Okay. And I'm just going to start to get an idea of what I want to happen here. And we're getting those nostrils, going into detail a bit quickly. Kind of trying to figure out pretty much the nose, wherever the nose lines up. You can actually almost draw a line all the way up and sort of stop in the middle, and that's where the eye is probably going to be. You can kind of round it out if you wanted to. It's sort of like this shape for the eye. Okay. And then they usually have like a sort of, not always, sometimes can be a stripe there. Okay. And let's get up. You gotta get that sort of curve of the neck again. Down and then the ears, which are basically triangles, but they actually have a slight curve to them. And they're kind of like you know the dog's ears. You know, when you see the dogs that have like pointy ears. Their ears aren't just they're triangular, but they have a bit of a curve to them as well. All right, and we'll add some hair. Horse's mane. A bit zigzaggy, not completely though. This is a well kept horse here. He likes to go to the to the beauty parlor. Get his mane done. Alright, it's not indicating where the shadows would be. Alright, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a, a different marker. This time, I got, I got to put the cap on it. You don't want to do that. Always put the, the caps on your markers. You don't want to dry out. Kids always, if you're watching, always put caps on your markers, especially at school. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm using a different marker here. I think, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, this is a Fiber Castell marker. I really like this one too. It's pretty cool. Um, this one is even better, I think, in some ways. It's a little bit like a brush too, but it has, a, I think, more control in some ways. 
just sort of drawing right over my lines. Okay. And the great thing I think about drawing, like when you do like, I guess you could say your base drawing, your pencil drawing in the beginning is you can always go back when you start to finalize it, you can erase things, you can fix things, you know, that you think, or, you know, add to it, which is pretty cool. Hi, let's add that in here. A little bit there. All right, maybe a little zigzag there down the nose. I guess you call that the nose, I don't know. Down the face. <laughs> Your long nose. The snout. I think that's, uh, the snout would be more like a pig, though. Okay. And we'll go back here. Dude, this reminds me of like an old show that used to be on TV called. Um, it's a really old show. Mystery about Tommy Horse. Let's go to the solution. Um, back here. about that? And then a little shadow. This mark is actually a little bit dry, but I actually like that effect that it gives. I could buy some more. It really you know, works well for doing stuff like this. To my other brushy, more brushy marker. It has a little more ink to it. To add a few darts in there for the for the main. A little more detail, maybe. that'll do it for a little horse picture for today and i hope you had fun join with me and i'll talk to you again sometime soon take care bye bye <laughs>